In this video, I'll be showing you another method to help me stabilize, lower, and make my ping much more consistent. Port forwarding game servers. Yes, something so simple has helped me and will probably help you too. Without further ado, let's get started. To start, we need to figure out your IP address to port forward. To find our IP address, open up the command prompt by searching CMD on Windows Search and open as administrator. Then paste this command in the description and press enter. The command will spit out lines of information, but we're only interested in our IPv4 address and make sure to note it down. Before closing the command prompt, copy your default gateway and search it in your browser. This will open your router settings and you may need to enter a username and password. Once logged in, navigate to where your router has port forwarding and now we can start to port forward our game servers. Now head to the link in the description and open the first link. In the search, type in the name of your game and enter. Oftentimes, the link will lead you to your game and for me it did. Now scroll down and find your platform. I'll be port forwarding my PC and my PS5. If you don't find your game, you can also search on Google the name of your game servers to port forward and here I searched for the Fortnite server values to port forward. Now going back and forth, we will port forward each TCP and UDP value. So by creating a new rule or the equivalent in your router settings and give it a name. Now head back to the website with your game server values and enter the first value. Make sure to also select the correct protocol which is either TCP or UDP. On the values with a dash, enter the first number in both first boxes and enter the second number in only the second box for the second set of boxes and it will automatically finish the rest for you. Depending on the value, you can select both or protocol, save time if a value is present in both lists. Now on the last step, enter your IP address, which was your IPv4 address, and then last four boxes and press create. I like to save after every rule, so if an error pops up, I only have to redo one rule. Repeat this procedure for both lists of TCP and then UDP until you're finished. Once completed, make sure to save and then restart your router to initialize your settings. Now head to your game of preference with better ping and less packet loss. If you want to watch more content, watch this video right here or watch part five of the network optimizations guide when I post it. Bye for now and I'll see you in the next video.